Welcome, 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 welcome back to Quick Hits. We are back. It's good to be back. Uh, this is the first of two episodes. Um, we're going to break down some fight news uh, that we got yesterday. Um, it's be the first show. I, I didn't have time to get to it yesterday because uh, you know, we were covering all the prospects and, and those performances. But we're going to get to it today. Uh, big news today. It came out yesterday um, in the 140-pound division. Um, let me move this slide a little bit. Much better. Uh, big news in the 140 pound division. Uh, Mario Barros is going to defend his WBA belt um, against uh, Javante Tank Davis, who holds 130 and 135 pound belts. Uh, but before we get into that, please like and subscribe, share in all forms of social media. Uh, quick hits comes at you twice a day, just eight to 10 minutes a day, two shows a day. Just real quick, there's eight minute, 10 minute shows to keep you totally up to date in the world on the world of boxing. Uh, so you know that everything that goes on, that's what you're looking for. That's the kind of content that you want. Please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Again, that's 3D boxing and 3D boxing blog. All right, let's get into it. The big news. Uh, well, it's not really news yet. We're still uh, trading on rumors here. Um, I don't think anything's been signed as far as I know, but the boxing world is a buzz uh, in regards to Mario Barrios and Tank Davis. <clears throat> uh, this is a great fight. This is a fun fight. Um, it doesn't make a ton of sense as the 130-pound division and 135-pound division are great divisions. Um, but I love the fight. It's, it's a great test for Tank, and I don't think Tank can win the fight. So for those Tank haters... I, I think this is – you're going to get what you want, which is watching Tank get beat up. Um, Barrios is like six foot one. He's a 140-pounder. He's big. He's strong. He can barely still make 140. He's going to 147 in the foreseeable future. I think this is a step too far too quickly. Look, we've seen guys jump up weight classes like this, right? Mikey Garcia run into Errol Spence. Khan ran into Canelo, uh, Rigondeaux ran into Loma. It's just not a great look. There's weight classes for a reason, and especially a guy like Tank Davis. Uh, Tank is, you know, five foot four, five foot five. You know, he's built like a tank. Um, but Barrios is long, lanky, with a lot of power. It's just stylistically a really, really bad fight for Tank Davis. I think uh, if Barrios can't keep, like Barrios has got to keep him on the outside. Uh, but if he does, I think he picks him apart and probably stops him. I really do. Byros has really good power. Uh, he's got wins over Velasco, Bruchera. He's got good wins. He's got wins over uh, Akhmadov, and then he just beat Ryan Carlos last fight. For a guy on his way up, he's got some good wins. You know, um, he's got the WBA regular belt. Um, he, he's a force here. Um, you know, unfortunately, at 140, there's not a ton of talent. Uh, on the PPC side, um, there's pro grade for now. I um, mean, there's some fights that can be made, but most of the, you know, Ramirez and um, all the belts, Ramirez and Taylor are, are on the top rank side, and they don't seem eager to work together. I do think Barrios could beat those guys too. Not that he definitely would. I, look, he's untested compared to those guys. Uh, those guys have good wins over over Postal. They have uh, Hooker. Um, you know, Ramirez beat Hooker, um, Taylor beat Progray, and they both beat Postal. They have good wins. So Barrios doesn't have the resume, but he does have the youth and the size and the power and the skills to compete with those guys. Whether or not he can, which I think he can, but that's just speculation at this point. And I, like, if I said who would win, Josh Taylor or Tank Davis, most, most people pick Josh Taylor. If I said Regis Progray or, or Tank Davis, you know, who would most people pick? Just program just because th th there's too much of a size difference, right? Um, and and Barrios is similar in size and build to Josh Taylor, so this is a bad fight for Tank. And look, I think they put these two guys on the card back, um, on Halloween in San Antonio for a reason. 
I think they put him on the same card. I think they put Barros on that card for a reason. I think they had Tank Davis fight Leo Santa Cruz. He's tall, lean, Mexican, you know, who can fight on the inside and the outside, just like Barrios. Um, I, I think I think they had for a reason. That wasn't a coincidence, right? Like they wanted people to see Barrios, they wanted him to 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 look good, and 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 they wanted everyone to get a look at the two because they were gonna match them next. Should Tank win? Tank did win. Barrios destroyed Ryan Carlin, what was probably his best performance of his career thus far. Uh, against uh, you know, a high level a quality opponent. Um but Sorry about that. Um, I think that that wasn't an accident that those two fought on the same card. I, I think if this fight happens, which, like, again, this is just a rumor. I don't know if it happens or if it doesn't. But from all reports, we're close. Coppinger reported it, and so did some other people. So, I mean, it's it's credible to think that this is going to happen. Um, it would It's a publicity stunt um, for Tank Davis. They want to get him to three belts all simultaneously held, right? Like 130, 135, and 140. Um, so it's a publicity stunt for Tank, you know. Um, he, instead of cleaning out a division, instead of you know fighting everyone at 130 and 135, you know Chris Colbert's of the world, you know uh, Michelle Rivera at 135 would be a good fight. Instead of fighting those guys, just go straight to 140 and start collecting belts in different weight classes. The problem with that is, you know. I think he's picked the wrong guy. I don't think. Look, there are some guys who are tall and lanky who don't fight that way. Um, Barrios uses his size. Barrios has good power. Uh, Barrios is a problem for basically anyone in that size, especially shorter fighters. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think this is like? Do you think it's a cherry pick? And do you think it's the wrong cherry pick? Because I think Barrios is exceptional, and maybe I'm just waving the Texas flag. Um, but I, I think this fight stylistically is all wrong for Tank Davis. I, I don't like guys jumping up two weight classes. Tank can make 130. He just made it. There's no reason for him to be fighting at 140, especially with all the talent at 135. Fight Chris Colbert. Fight Rivera. There's other good fighters they have at his weight class. Why is he jumping up? Uh, do you think Barrios wrecks him? Do you think Tank has special power? Can Tank get on the inside and destroy him? You know, I, I've heard stories of Tank getting on the inside and sparring with um, – Lewis Arias, you know, um, and, and, and hurting Arias, right? Like, and sparring. So Tank's power is special. If he gets inside, is it good night for Barrios? Seriously. But I, I don't see that. I think Barrios is good enough, strong enough, powerful enough to beat Davis from the outside. And I think that's what you get. I think you get Barrios beaten up from the outside over 12 rounds. And maybe he stops him late. I think he does stop him late because he's got good pop. Uh, but give me your predictions, and do you think the fight happens? Again, quick hits comes at you twice a day. Um, eight, just eight to ten minutes. We keep it real quick, real brief, just to keep you totally up to date on the world of boxing. Please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. That's 3D Boxing. Um, it is March 4th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. That needs to change. We need to get Ivan uh, Iron Boy Calderon into the Hall of Fame. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.